what's going on everybody sports 03 here bringing you another cool action figure review today we have king leonidas put out by neca from the movie 300 these things look fantastic now we have the retail release right here and there's actually a second retail repackaged version of this but they're both the same and then here we have the san diego comic-con 2007 exclusive figure here with all the extra goodies and the blood and the dirt and everything and there's rumored to be like two to three thousand of these to re be released but who's to say for sure it is it is more rare though and on the back here you can see some really nice artwork and then three of the other figures from series one so anyway let's get these removed from their plastic coffins and have a closer look Alrighty, here they are out of their packaging and i gotta say these look awesome they come with tons of accessories all kinds of detail yeah, let's have a look at some of these accessories. First, we have the shields. On the right is the retail version, which looks really nice and weathered. And then on the left here, we have the exclusive shield, which has four little slots there where you place the arrows for a nice battle action scene. And it has some blood splatter there and a little bit more of a weathered look. But overall, they look really nice. And on the back, you can see the handles where the, the arm goes. Yeah, very nice. I like these. Next up, we have the swords. And on the top here, this one here, is the exclusive one. So you can see the difference there. They gave it a little bit more of a battle-damaged, weathered look and a little splatter of blood there. And another thing here is on the back, you can actually remove the back part there and slide that into his fist as opposed to trying to bend the fingers out and breaking it. So I kind of like that. Next, we have the spears. And each figure comes with their own spear. They're about 9 inches long, which is really cool. Now, they're almost exactly the same except for the tips here where you can see the top one is the exclusive. So it's uh, a little bit more battle damaged, more worn down, if you will. So give it a little bit more of a, a bronzish color, uh, if you will. Yeah, very nice. Great accessory. Here's the stand that came with the exclusive figure. Now, this is a winner. I like the detail they put into this. Look at the, It looks like real dirt. And you can see the blood splatter there. The nice chromed up Immortals mask with which looks just awesome. I really like this. And there's a couple of slots there and there where you can place the arrows. And here is a quick look at the retail stand that comes with it. This reads 2007 NECA on the back. Nothing flashy there, but yeah, this one here, this one's awesome. Here are the six arrows that come with the exclusive figure. Now they're about three inches long and I definitely would take my time placing these into the shield and into the stand. So you can put two of these into the the stand and four of these into the shield. Yeah, these things look very nice. Now, the retail version comes with this spare head, which I think is just a fantastic accessory. Now, initially, I thought that maybe the helmets were removable, but they're not. They're glued on. So it's kind of cool that you can actually use this on both figures. And on the back here, you can see his hair, his little tail there. I don't know what you call that, a little rat tail or something. But yeah, this thing looks really nice. Now, for the spare head here, it's very easy to replace. You just pop this off and just be careful with this. Now, it's a little ball joint in there, and I went ahead and shaved down the edges of this a little bit because when I initially pulled this off, the whole ball joint came out. So I just shaved that down a little bit. And then you can just take the unhelmeted version, peg this on just like that, and there you go. Now, that looks awesome. And you can use it for the other one, too, if you want. Here's a look at the retail version of Leonidas, and then we'll bring in the exclusive version. So you can see the helmets are basically the same, just maybe the... The exclusive version is just a little bit darker. And then you can see where they gave him some battle damage and some blood splatter and shined him up a little bit. Yeah, this looks really nice. Now down here, it's the same thing. They gave him a more metallic, uh, battle-worn, if you will, look to the shin guards there. Yeah, and then on back here, you can see his cape. They're basically the exact same. Maybe the exclusive version is just slightly darker, maybe just a little bit more worn out. But either way... They both look fantastic. For articulation, both figures are identical. You can spin them here and move his head up and down. It's a little bit of a ball joint in there. And then at the shoulder here, you can move it up just like that and give it a complete 360 if you want. And he has a spin here at the wrist, a spin all the way around here at the waist. And then down here, there is a bit of a wiggle here. And it is hindered by the leg armor. If that wasn't there, you could spin the, the foot all the way around. But yeah, that's really nice. I like now, it. Now here they are all put together on their stands with all their accessories. And they look fantastic. Now you can see where I have the shields and different arms. And you can use all the different accessories. And then over here, if you want, you can put the sword in the sheath and have them hold the spear or the sword. You can see where all the arrows plug into the shield and down here on the base. Yeah, these make for a fantastic display. Well, there you have it, everybody. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Take care. We'll see you next time.